Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going over part five of the Build a Battle Station app, which is to create ports and dashboards. So it should be really fun, should be really simple. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, I am currently in our Battle Station Instruction app and in our tab we have reports. So let's go ahead and go to the reports and click new report. All right, we're gonna go to other reports and which report type do we want? We want to go to battle station with supplies. Click continue. Uh, and then let's see, what do we want to have on here? We want to, on our columns, to have quantity. So I just am typing in the columns, quantity, and then it'll update. Oh, we gotta click this little update preview. And then we also want unit cost and total cost. And we're gonna add a group here. We're gonna add battle station name. So it'll just kind of split up if we had more than just the obliteration station. If we had like, I don't know, the trailhead example is the flower power, then it would show up here as well. Super great if you wanna have it all summarized. So speaking of summarization, we're going to go to quantity and the unit cost columns, and we're going to summarize them. Oh, we wanted it to be summarized. Oh wait, we only want it to be summarized on the total cost. So we're going to deselect summarize from quantity and unit cost. Alright, and we're going to click save and run, and then we're going to have it be our supplies report. And then the unique name will populate and click save. All right, now we're going to do a dashboard. So we're going to go over to dashboards. And we are going to click new dashboard. For the dashboard name, it's going to be construction. Don't forget to make sure you spell it right. So we're going to click new component. So it's just the plus sign component. And we're going to use the supplies report. If you can't see the report, make sure it's in the right folder. We want it to be a vertical bar chart. And click add. All right, we can be saved and done, or you got some cool stuff over here. You can change it based upon different things and have dark mode. So I'm gonna click save and done. There we go. All right, let's go back to our trailhead and verify our step. All right, there we go, and we got a shine new badge on our profile. So be sure to give this one a like and give a subscribe. It really helps on my channel and helps me create more helpful videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.